Hey guys, uh, we shall try to solve some problems on finding the step response of a LTI system. So we have a problem here, find step response of a system uh, with impulse response h of n is 1 for n varying from minus 3 to 2 and equal to 0 otherwise. So basically uh, one of the way to represent a system is actually in terms of impulse response. Whenever we say uh, impulse response it says something about the system okay just think like that h of n whenever we say impulse response h of n it is nothing but a system okay it is one of the way to represent a system which is in terms of impulse response fine so I have a system with impulse response h of n and I have to find its step response okay so solution first we will try to sketch this uh, impulse response h of n so we have n so n is varying from where to where so minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and what is its amplitude 1 everywhere right so everywhere it is 1 from n varying from minus 3 to 2 and equal to 0 otherwise so for other values of n it is 0 so its amplitude is 1 so what is this this is nothing but impulse response it's a system okay now I need to find its step response and uh, in the previous video we have derived the equation to find the step response of a discrete time system and it says something like this s of n small letter s of n is nothing but the step response of a system is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k so this is the equation we derived right Fine. and also we call it as running sum of a impulse response that I will try to convince you in this problem now so the the, uh, the thing is uh, we in the equation we have impulse response in terms of k the independent variable is k so what do we do the way we did in convolution uh, sum problems we are going to change the independent variable of h of n to k okay so instead of writing in terms of h of n we will write it in terms of h of k fine so let me plot again just by changing the independent variable so minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 now this is k and this is h of k and its amplitude is 1 I just change the independent variable to k okay why I did this because in the formula it is in terms of k fine so k takes the value from minus infinity right just look at the formula k is varying from where to where minus infinity to n right so k takes a value from minus infinity where is minus infinity somewhere we cannot reach right and where does it end it ends at n okay and what is n n is it actually it has a liberty to move from minus infinity till plus infinity depending upon uh, I mean uh, it's my wish wherever I want I can keep this n okay starting from where minus infinity if in case in this particular problem if I keep this n at say k is equal to 0 this this will be my slider with an index n okay so if I keep this n at k equal to 0 so this n is where starting from where it is started from minus infinity and what I have to do I have some I need to sum up all the samples of h of k starting from minus infinity up to n and what is the n value it is 0 ok I hope you got uh, the concept uh, for example if I keep this n at 2 if I keep this n at 2 so what will be the uh, uh, summation limit now k varying from minus infinity till 2 I need to sum up all the samples of h of k fine say if I keep this n at somewhere 10 is it possible? No, right? Uh, why? Because my k ends at 2. I cannot reach more than 2. Even though if I keep this n at 10, so uh, after 2 every, everything is 0, it does not uh, it does not matter actually. You can keep it at 10, but the samples are 0. So that summing, summing up does not count. Fine? Fine? Okay. 
let me just tell you what's happening here. Later on, we'll take up the problem. Actually, we will solve the problem actually. But this is also I'm solving the problem here. But I'm I'm showing you what's happening actually in this case. Fine. Say, say if I put n is equal to minus three. So what happens? If this slider is at minus three, right? If it's something like this. So it's minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. So this is this. Is. Okay. What is s of n? S of n is nothing but I need to sum off. It's a running sum. Okay. So starting from minus infinity till n, I need to sum up all the samples of h of k. Fine. So if I put now what is s of n? s of n is nothing but s of what did I put the n value? Minus three, right? S of minus three is equal to what? So starting from minus infinity, I need to sum it up. So from minus infinity till minus two, it is completely zero. Oh, sorry, till minus four, it is completely zero. But I have a sample only at n equal to minus three, which is one, right? So it is one. Now, say if I put say n is equal to minus two. Now where will be my uh, slider in the slider now slider will be at here right it is at here fine now what is s of minus 2 what is s of minus 2 s of minus 2 is nothing but so what I have to do is I have to sum it up from minus k varying from minus infinity to minus 2 right so this is nothing but till minus 4 it is 0 so minus 3 sample plus minus 2 sample minus 3 sample is 1 minus 2 sample is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 Okay, at n equal to minus two. So if I put n equal to minus three, what is s of minus three? Now this goes to sorry, n equal to minus one, s of minus one. This goes to minus one. Now what is the running sum? So till minus four it is zero. So minus three sample plus minus two sample plus minus one sample. So one plus one plus one, which is three, right? Say so n equal to zero. What is s of zero? Which is nothing but one plus one plus one plus one, which is four. So n equal to one. What is s of one? Which is nothing but one plus one plus one plus one plus one, which is five. So n equal to two. What is s of two? It is six, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six. So depending upon where you keep this n value, my step response has is actually the running sum. Fine. So ultimately, I can write it as s of n is equal to uh, at minus three it is one. At minus two it is two. At minus one it is three. At minus at uh, zero it is four, five, six. Okay. So where should I keep the arrow mark at n equal to zero and it is at four? So this is the step response of the system h of n uh, of the system uh, represented by the impulse response h of n. Right. This is what, this is what actually happening. It is just the running sum of the impulse response and this running sum depends upon where I keep this n. Fine. So h of k is what? It is 1 for uh, it is 1 from minus 3 to 2. So minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. This is k and everywhere it is 1. Right? Now, uh, S of n step response formula summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k. Okay. Now, h of k is varying from where to where? It is varying from minus 3 to 2. Right? Okay. And what is its amplitude? 1. So, what I do in the k, I'll replace, uh, I, I'll change the limit, which is from minus 3 to Two, but I I cannot do the, I cannot put the end value two. It depends upon where I keep this slider n. It's it start from minus three and end set depending upon where I keep this n value. And I can maximum I can keep this n value at two, right? I can not go beyond two. Okay. Uh, S of n is equal to summation k varying from minus three. Okay. Why minus? I did. Why did I write minus three? Because signal starts at minus three. Okay and n. Fine. You might ask me sir why you did not you put 2 because signals ends at 2. I cannot put 2 because formula says that the up, uh, uh, upper limit is n and this n has the liberty to move from minus 3 to 2. 
I can keep at minus 3, I can keep at minus 2, I can keep at minus 1, dot dot dot, I can keep at 2. Fine. And h of k. And what is the value of h of k? It is 1, right? So I will write this as 1. Fine. Because from uh, minus 3 to wherever I keep, it is actually n. Fine. Now I need to simplify this. Uh, this lower limit I need 0. And I have explained you how do we bring this lower limit to 0, right? So how do you bring it? You just take this to the left hand side and equate it with a dummy variable, right? So if I take this to the left hand side, what happens? k plus 3 is equal to, I'll equate it with the dummy variable of m. And write this in terms of k. So what is k from this? k is nothing but m minus 3. If I take this plus 3 to other side, it is minus 3. Now in this summation, wherever k is there, you replace it by m minus 3, right? So this is k varying from minus 3 to k varying from n, right? So what happens here? So s of n is equal to summation. So k, but what is k? m minus 3 equal to what? Minus 3 to k, which is m minus 3 equal to what? n. And it is 1. Right? Here it is 1. So minus 3 plus 3 cancels out. Uh, and if I take this minus 3 to the other side, what happens? s of n is equal to summation m varying from 0 to what n plus 3 1 fine now we have a standard uh, equation summation n varying from 0 to uh, n 1 is nothing but n plus 1 okay fine now uh, this entire thing I will consider it as n so what happens if I apply this standard result here? So s of n is equal to what? This is what? n plus 1. So n plus 1 is small letter n minus 3 plus 1 which is plus 1. Fine. So s of n is equal to what? n plus 4. Fine. And there is a, a limit to put the values of n. Where, from where to where I can put the value of n? Some minus 3 till where I can put 2. Other values of n, uh, this equation is not valid. Okay, we'll cross check it. Say if I put s is equal to minus 3, minus 3, I am here. Now my n is here. Okay, so what is the running sum? So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, which is nothing but 1, right? Is this 1? See, put this, put this value here. So n is what? Minus 3, which is minus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 1 when I put n equal to minus 3 right so s of when I put n equal to minus 2 what happens n is minus 2 plus 4 which is equal to 2 if I put minus 1 it is minus 1 plus 4 equal to 3 if I put 0 0 plus 4 which is equal to 4 if I put 1 so 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 if I put 2 uh, 2 plus 4 which is equal to 6 if I put 3 what happens if I if I put 3 here what happens so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus still it is uh, still it is uh, 6 right if I put 4 also it is 6 fine uh, depending uh, uh, the thing is no I cannot limit this so n takes the value uh, because it, it is 5 so this instead of writing this I can write it as n is greater than or equal to minus 3 my n takes the value greater than or equal to minus 3 even if, even if I put n as infinity what is the value I get it remains constant at 6 after after n equal to 2 if you give 3 I have 6 if you put at 4 I have 6 5 I have 6 100 I have 6 till infinity also I will be having 6 Okay, so therefore, therefore, the step response is nothing but n plus 4 and for n greater than or equal to minus 3. So, this is the step response of a system h of n. Uh, so, if you are still uh, in confusion, if you didn't get the concept, I will take a few more problems in the next videos so that you will be convinced.